all the glory to Yahweh by Shimei Awasai, right? Third, we got here to let our people know who they are according to the Bible, right? Let the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that they God chose the people, right? right? So let's start off with the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. 2 Timothy 4, verse 2. Right, because it don't matter what time, what, what season it is, no matter what the weather is, no matter how hot it is, no matter about the rain, no matter about the snow, and we gotta get out, we gotta preach the gospel. Second Timothy, yep, second Timothy, second Timothy chapter four and verse two. Break it out. Preach the word. What do I say? Preach the word. What do you say? Preach the word. Right, and we have feel like we gotta get out, we gotta preach the word. Right, not just the New Testament, but the Old Testament too. Right, you need the whole thing. Keep going. Be instant in season. Be instant in season. Right, you know. Out of season for both, right? Rebuke, exhort, right? With all long suffering right. and doctrine. Right, he said rebuke, right? Exhort. Our people need rebuke, man. They need correction. Right. Because our people going out these, these last days, right? They serving other gods, they are gods. They being Muslims, they Christianity. Right. right. They serving the other, the, 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 the Christians. Why right? they doing all kind of men of madness? Right. You got people to be homosexual. Right. Transgender. All these things are against the Bible. So our people need correction. Right, but also we need exhortation as well as these last day right. Exhort our people to keep going. Exhort our people to love the Lord. You right. Know? Verse 3. For the time will come when right, they... That's good, that's good, that's good. I go on. Um, Chapter 3 and verse 16. You know, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. So that all these scriptures is given by the inspiration of God. Hey, brother, uh -uh. you got time for God? Come in. Right, keep going. And is profitable for doctrine. Right. For reproof. Uh -huh. For correction. Uh -huh. For instruction. Right, so this Bible has reproof, instruction. Right, what? In righteousness. And what? In righteousness. So this is how you this is how you become a righteous man. This is how you become a righteous woman. Right? By getting instruction from the Bible. Right? Verse 17. The man of God may be perfect. Right? Truly furnished into all good work. Right, that's good on that. Right, that's good. Law. 
You gotta stress law. You gotta have the. You gotta take the law. Take the light in the law of death and living. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse twenty two. How you doing, brother? You gotta come in, Lord God. The words of life, man. You got good news here, man. Good news here, bro. Come check out the first part. Who is this right here? Who is this? That's who? Look at that thing. You see me just like that? Oh, we're gonna go to the Bible, we're gonna show you. It's the Christ look like this. We're gonna show we're gonna see, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. He within you, but it's still important to what he looked like. The Bible tells you. Is he within you? Is this man within you? He looked like this. He looked like but well, we're gonna see what the Bible says he looked like. Revelation chapter one and verse thirteen. Go. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, right. one like the Son of Man, right. clothed with a garment down to the foot. So Christ, he had a garment down to the foot, he going. And girdle about the paps, right. with a golden girdle. Uh -huh. His hair and his hair were white like wool. So boom, it said his head and his hair were white like wool. Does this man like he got what, white woolly hair? He so old. No, 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 no. Now let's be honest with me. Let's be honest with me. So what you think for the so-called white man? So, 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 and his eyes were like a flame of fire. His eyes as a flame of fire, no? But check this out, this guy has blue eyes. That's another, that's another, if we were playing baseball right now, this man would have two strikes right now. Right now. So let's see if he's gonna get a third strike. If he gets a third strike, he's out here. All right, bring it up. Verse 15, uh -huh. and his feet unto the fine brass. So now let's get this. It, it, it's not your feet the same color as the rest of your body, right? So it said his feet is like a divine brass. So what color is brass? Like a brown, right? Good. Right, Good. right, like a brown. Good. As if they burn in a furnace. So it says, brass like it burns in a furnace. So does this man look like burnt brass? So man, this, this, this has to be a false image. This is a false image, right? So the thing is that Christ, he looks like he ain't a so-called black man. Right. Right, we got to understand this, like right? Joe. Like Joe. Huh? Like Joe. Like Joe. Like Joe. Right? All right, so we gotta understand that when it comes to it, that we derive from the same people as Christ. The so called black man is the same people as Christ. You know, we just gotta say what we need. Come, bring it up. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Right? For it is evident right. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ, right, he sprang out of Judah. Right? So that means that the Judah, right, the uh, tribe of Judah will be the so called black people, right? Because Christ, according to the scriptures, right, he described as so-called black man. He can't, he 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 he, we can't say that he's an olive man. Olive is not brown, right? We can't say he's a so-called white man, but that's false as well. So the only people that match in that description is the so-called black man. They stay inside you, right? Right? So with this information, we're going to say that Christ, right, was from the time of the future of life. So that means we are about to get the life. Right up. So how do we know that we're here to life? Right? How would we make the connection that would be used by the door to the Bible? Do you, do you know? No, no. You mind listening? We can show you. I'm showing you. Go ahead, go to the Bible, chapter 28, verse 1. Right? So we got to understand that, boom. First, this is false image, right? Christ don't look like this. He looks like a so called black man, right? And not only that, Christ is also an Israelite, right? Go to the Bible, chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, until the voice of the Lord thy God right. to observe, to do all his commandments which I command thee this day right. that the Lord thy God will set thee high above all nations of the earth so basically the Lord said hey if you people keep my commandments and listen to me, do what I tell you I'm going to set you on high above all nations verse that's the first part everybody. let's go to the latter part of that go to verse 15 verse 15 but it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. But if you do not listen, he going to observe, to do all his commandments. Do so. To do all his commandments. Do a few. To do all his commandments. So the Israelites to do all, was commanded to do 
all the commandments that was given to him by the Most High God. Keep going. And his statutes, which right. I command thee this day, right. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Lord said, if the Israelites would not listen, they were going to be overtaken, consumed by some curses. Right? So we're going to see in 2024 what people match the uh, master curses. Because not everybody in this society can match the curses. Right. Not everybody in America say, well, hey, those curses apply to me. Right. right, we're gonna see who we're gonna see who Mac these curses. Go to verse 16. Verse 16. Uh, Cursed shall thou be in the city. So the Lord said that the Israelites, they're gonna be cursed in the city. So we look at it. What group of people or race of people is the poor society that lives in the slum, the ghetto, the hood? Is it the so-called white man or the so-called black man or the so-called Chinese man? What what people? Last time I said we go to the hood, I see us. Do you do you agree with that? Now we know in the hood, what happens in the hood? A lot of things go down in the hood. It get, it get, it get, it get kind of crazy. I say the hood folks. Too much. 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 Too so he, he'll, 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 he we think about it. Who is speaking Kai? Huh? I said, who is speaking Kai? In the slavery, in the time of slavery, who is speaking Kai? Who was the sharecropper? What? Why, why, who is speaking tomato? Well, who's in the tobacco field? Well, exactly. Why is the Lord saying these things will happen to the to the Israelites for their disobedience? You get what I'm saying? But it, but now we see that off the rip, the white man can't say well that that applies to him. Now, when he came to the slavery, he was from making us pick cotton, right. but he wanted up picking it with us. Right. right? So go to uh, verse number 37. Verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So, okay. Verse 32. Uh -huh. The sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So the Bible says that our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people. Right? Keep going. And thy eyes shall look and fail with loneliness. Lonely. Loneliness. loneliness. For them all the day long. So, boom, to think about this, right? Um, and I think that actually was a a, a, a trade a letter that actually had a a, a, a trade a trade option here as well, right? So, our children, five points, oh, the five points, huh? So you had you had what you had is our children were optioned off as as merchandise, as as, as slaves. So when when, when um. When these parents, they would have these children, they couldn't stop their children from going to um, Master Johnson Plantation in South Carolina. Or they couldn't stop to go for um, Master Williams Plantation in, 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 in Louisiana. They couldn't stop it. So the Bible prophesied saying that our children can take away from us. There's nothing that we can do about it. Right. Even right now, if the so-called white man says, hey, she's an uh, uh, unfit father, an uh, unfit mother, they can take their children, their children from the South Sea Right. And there's nothing you can do about it. Right. But the Lord say, boom, this is what happened to the Israelites. Let's go to verse 44. Let me tell you something else. We got to understand when it comes to these, these curses, it's changing the so-called black, the Spanish, the Native American every time. All right, go ahead. What verse speak? Okay, go ahead. Ghetto. A neighborhood, especially an urban neighborhood, inhabited predominantly by the Jews. See that? It says a, a neighborhood um, occupied basically predominantly by the Jews. When we first read in um, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14, Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Right, so Christ is from a Jew. We're right from the Jew. He came from the ghetto. Right, what's that? What good thing come from Nazareth? Right. right. He come from the ghetto. He come from the hood. He got the same back story just like the so called black men in America. Hey, hey, if Christ was from Atlanta, he'd be, he, he come from the bluff. Right, right. Oh, he be coming from the bluff. God, right? He be coming from the bluff. Right, look at that. Right. Yeah. You gonna hear this last verse? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 we they know who their identity is. The identity is not black, right? Black is the son of our suit. We're not the son of black, right? We're not African American, 
there's no such thing of Puerto Rican, that means a rich port. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's not who we really are. We are God filled the people his way. But that's just one part of the thing. It's not, it is, okay, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to be his way, but it's something off that the Lord said two thirds of my people are going to be destroyed. Right? So, what we got to do is go to Matthew chapter 19, verse uh, 17. I'm going to ask you this, uh, this is a very important question. How do you get to the kingdom of heaven? What you got to do? I like, I like that. I like that. Do his commandments. Right? I'm going to tell you what Christ said. Bring that up. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. All right, bring it up. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I might have eternal life? So somebody came to Christ like, what, what can I do to get eternal life? And we know the only place you can get eternal life is what? In the kingdom of heaven. In the kingdom of heaven. Keep going. No, go to Christ. Verse here. 17. Uh -huh. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So Christ said, you want to get to the kingdom of heaven, you got to keep the commandments. You got to keep the commandments. Right? And you remember that chapter 12, verse 12. Probably don't believe about So we, got, we understand that we got to keep the commandments, right? So that's the, that's the part why people mess up the most. That's the part where they mess up the most. A lot of people don't know the first, the first 10, right? They don't know the dietary laws. It was dietary laws that was given to us as a people. Right? There's certain things that we can eat and there's certain things that we cannot eat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we cannot eat meat. Huh? Right? Did you know, did you know that we can't eat pork? That was what the Bible said you're supposed to. The most I told us that we as Israelites that we cannot eat pork. You know that? Right? Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. You know we can't eat stupid food? So, I didn't know. you know that? I'm going to say you real fast. I didn't know he was. Because his son, that's all, that's all. Yo, what? Right, give me a little bit of Leviticus 11 verse 1. But I didn't know what that meant. We'll say so. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 1. Bring it out. And the Lord spake unto Moses right. and to Aaron, right. and said unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to who? Speak unto the children of Israel. So they're speaking to us and telling us what? Say, these are the beasts that which you shall eat among the, all the beasts now on the, the earth. Uh -huh. Whosoever. They started us. The Lord gave us a list of animals that we can eat and what we cannot eat. That's why, that's why we did what So when I say we cannot consume it, that's when we're going to find that out. In the book of Leviticus, that's when you find what you can and cannot eat. Right? That's when you understand. For Leviticus chapter 11. This is kind of living right? Because what, what's the criteria for all things to lay down? Verse 7. And the swine, do he divide the hook and be cloven footed? Right. Yet he cheweth not the cud. Right. He is unclean to you. Right. Of his flesh shall you not eat. Huh? Of his flesh shall you not eat. So, boom. The Lord said that we cannot consume the pork because he's unclean. Right? He part the hook. Hopefully, but he does not chew the cud. So therefore, the pork is unclean. That's why we say we can't eat it. Right? So you get somebody else saying, well, a lot of people don't get to tell you why we can't eat it. The Bible tells you why we can't eat it. Right? So we want to go to the floor. And their carcass shall you not touch. Uh -huh. They are unclean to you. Right? Verse 9. Uh -huh. These shall you eat all that are in the water. Right? Whatsoever have fins and scales uh -huh. in the waters and the seas and in the rivers. Them shall you eat. So also the Lord told us that if we want to consult any animal that lives in the water, we gotta have fish and scales. Right? But the, but now when it comes to animals that in the water that doesn't have fish and scales, it's what? Verse 10. And all have not fins and scales in the seas and so, the rivers. So this animal don't got fins and scales, what the Bible say? Of all that move in the waters and any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. The Lord say that these animals will be abomination. So shrimp is an abomination. Crab is an abomination. Oyster is an abomination. Catfish. Catfish is an abomination. Right. Right? Because catfish, it has fins, but it does not have skin. So therefore it's abomination. So therefore, we as Israelites, as a holy people, we cannot consume it. Kind of Man, you can eat salmon, you can eat bass. Uh, speckles, uh, speckles, speckles, uh, you Snapple. Eat, uh, 
snapper, snapper, snapper corgi, mullet. All these, all these are clean. Codfish. Codfish. Yeah, they got fins and scales. Cause they got fins and scales. Whitey, they have fins and scales. Whitey is good too. What's that? So yeah, these are the, these are, these are what you can eat. You can eat lamb, you can eat chicken. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, I love it too. So these are animals that we can consume. All over the temple. <laughs> All right, so hey, hold on. So before we go now, before we go, what, what I told you I mentioned was to our people that what who are what's our name? So, and then so I told I said we can hear somebody going to the Bible, bro. We can hear somebody going to the Bible, and as people like, we gotta keep God's law. All right, bro. Okay. All right. You good, bro. I'm All right, good, buddy. All right. I see you every time I shake. All right. Bless us.